Hey everybody, welcome to the Bootstrap unit. In this unit, we're gonna be learning how to design websites using Bootstrap. But before we get started, we're just gonna talk about what it is and explore some examples. So basically, Bootstrap is a framework for developing beautiful, responsive, mobile-friendly websites. And you could think of a framework like a toolbox for web developers. Bootstrap provides several extra, very helpful features on top of the base level HTML and CSS features we've been using. And very few websites on the internet are made with just plain HTML and CSS. Most of them use at least one framework. Bootstrap is just one of many frameworks, but it's a really popular one. So here's an example provided by CodeHS, Student Group 3's website, and this one's designed using Bootstrap. So what do we mean when we say responsive? When we say responsive, we mean that regardless of the screen size that we're viewing this website on, the Bootstrap framework is gonna adjust to accommodate that screen size. So notice as I contract and expand this website. The design is basically just responding to the changes in my screen size. So let's say I'm on something like a mobile device, something like this size. The website's still readable, it's still usable, okay? It doesn't really get affected by the screen size. Same thing if I expand it, like say I'm on a tablet, so something around this size perhaps, okay? Still usable, still readable, and easily adjust to changing screen sizes, okay? This is just one of the features that Bootstrap offers. There's many more. Here's another example of a website designed using Bootstrap. Okay, this is also on the Code HS Lesson 1, What is Bootstrap? This is the One NYC 2050 website, also designed using Bootstrap. Again, it's going to be responsive, so I can contract this, I can expand it, and it's going to respond. But like I mentioned, this is just one of the features of Bootstrap. Other things included in the framework include beautiful, useful icons. So something like this menu bar icon up here. Also, drop-down menus are included in the Bootstrap framework. There are components for nav bars and just so much more. We're going to explore all of this in the Bootstrap unit. The last exercise asks you to explore some examples on expo.getbootstrap.com. So head over here and check out some of the other examples posted here. This website has examples of many projects built using Bootstrap. So take some time, explore this, and when you're ready, we will get started on this unit. I can't wait. See you there. Thank you.